I'm going to demonstrate how to clean this telescope eyepiece and this filter with our first contact polymer today. I'm going to start with the eyepiece, so I'm just going to set this out of the way. And I like to use a pipette to drip a little bit of, stay here drip a little bit of polymer into the center of the eyepiece and then use the brush to move it around. So I'm going to just drip a little bit into there. That should be sufficient. And then I'm going to just take the brush and move that around. Get it out to the edges. And we'll come back here when it's dry. So I'm going to let that first layer in there sit for a few minutes and then I'm going to embed some unwaxed dental floss in around the perimeter and once the complete coating is dried this will be used as a handle to peel out the coating. But we'll let that dry for a few minutes because you don't want to put it in right away. You want to let it sit up for a few minutes before you embed the polymer, or embed the, the dental floss. So I'm going to set that aside and I'm going to show you what we do here with these filters. This is an o-ring that I'm going to put down in to stop them to stop any polymer from getting around into possibly the edge of the optic where the retaining ring is. So I'm just going to push that down in there and make sure it's firmly seated against the optic and it just makes a nice little dam to stop any polymer from getting into that retaining ring. Alright, so we've got it down there. Now I'm going to set that aside and I'm going to come back to this. And the surface of that is set up enough now. I'm just going to create a little, like a pigtail here. And put that down in along the edge. That'll be good. And then I'm just going to take a tiny bit more polymer over top of it. And I'm going to zoom in on that so you can see what I've done. And hopefully you can um, get an idea of what I'm doing here. There, I think you can hopefully see that there, the, the dental floss embedded into the polymer. Now let's go over top of that while I'm zoomed in on it with just a little bit of polymer and kind of glue that down if you will. I'm just going to push it aside and let that dry for about 15 to 30 minutes and now I'm going to come back to this little filter I'll zoom in on that too a little bit closer so you can see it. And I'm just going to take the pipette again and drip a little bit into the center. And you don't need much obviously and this pipette controls the amount of you're putting on. Alright, so I'm just going to drip a few drops into there. That's more than enough. Now I'll take the brush from the applicator bottle and move that around a little bit right out to the edge of where that o-ring is. All right. And we'll come back to them both when they dry and we'll peel them out. Well, Actually, I've got to let that set up for a moment, put some dental floss around the perimeter of that, and then we'll come back to them when they're dry. So the polymer is set up in there long enough that I can put in my handle. But instead of using a wax dental floss, I'm going to use some of our chemical resistant nylon mesh and I'm just going to set it in here and let it soak it in and you can see how that kind of soaked in and I will take just a bit more polymer over the surface and glue that piece of mesh down and we're gonna let that dry and come back to it in a little bit So our lens and our filter are dry now, and I'm just going to peel this stuff out.
All right, so the filter's dry. Let's go ahead and take that out. 